morning everyone. Um, haven't done a video in a couple of weeks. Uh, the last video I was talking about actually starting to train the youngsters if you remember. And I did so, so 11 of the 12 youngsters I had went to a 50 mile toss for the first first time in the training basket. Um, and uh, had a bit of a bit of a smash, you might say. I got out of the 11, um, five home, no, six home, six home. Now the six home went all home. Together I had uh, four on the day, two, actually I have seven home, sorry, so four on the day, one the following day, one two days later, and then one a week later. So out of the 11 pigeons, I now have seven of them home um, at a forced toss of 50 miles. Now, what I did was I gave the boards that come home a couple of days rest, and they were back on the road again a few days later. So now they've had four 50 mile tosses bar the one that come home a week later because it's actually only home. Actually probably 10 days later come home. Um, so I'm just gonna keep these youngsters going. Uh, there's not much else happening. The mouth is coming on very, very well. The oldest of them is actually one of the ones, the one that was left out of the 11, out of the 12, and she was left because she had only laid an egg one of the young hands. So I left her there, she's a great in the She nearly finished her own mouth. Actually just gonna show you her. So we're talking about tail flight being molten and all. So this hen is now actually up on her uh, eighth flight. Uh, it's just, you can just see it there popping through. And she's actually molting her tail as we speak. We're talking about this tail molt issue. So she's nearly halfway through her tail already. Um, and she's in great, great order. Now what's gonna happen with this hen because I have the other boards further along because they'll be getting moved on in the next toss or two. I'm gonna leave this hen here to the next year to mature. Uh, no harm. Uh, double grandchild of Mushgrove Wizard, so let's see how that goes. Um, other than that, everything has been going accordingly. The bull system is ongoing. I've just weaned four youngsters from them. I'll show you a couple of them. So these are from Mushgrove Wizard. Um, I'm absolutely, I did put a small video up of these the other day. Absolutely delighted with these youngsters. They are cracking, absolutely cracking. Really, really pleased. I have others now in the nest for myself because, as, as I said, I've only got those other youngsters there at the moment. Hang on a second, we're just getting to stand properly. Look at that, absolutely cracking youngsters. Lo love to see them in the light. You can see what they are and how they stand. Okay, so they're there anyway, the youngsters. I have three of them weaned. Uh, I have one of them going to the Barcelona one last race there, that was four that I weaned. And as I said, I'm breeding now for myself. So at the moment, there are 16 youngsters in this section, and of the 16, there's those four and three, there's seven, uh, seven that I haven't, that won't be trained, won't be raised, they'll be just let mature. And I'm hoping then to bring on another 20. That's the aim. And of the 20, I have two, four, I think of about eight eggs there, 10 eggs. You know, a four in the nest, actually probably another six eggs or seven eggs. Uh, fertile all of Musgrove Wizard. So I'm working on that premise that I'm going to have hopefully by the time I finish the end of the month, maybe early next month, 30 young boards here, all direct off Musgrove Wizard. And then we have still, I think there's seven, six or seven in this section, old boards now off. So because of the light that's being on all the time here to get these boards through the moat, as I said last time, the old boards are now falling apart. So I'm not going to waste those boards throwing them into the races that I wanted to. So we have conferences with the BICC and the little group we have. Uh, so most fellas will be sending to that. I'm going to be deciding whether or not to send these young boards or not. It's a big ass 360 miles to here. However, it is done because the lads up the north from here, they're flying 360 now in Penzance, some of them 315, 300. 20 L Penzance. So there should be no reason why the boards can't do it if they're fit enough and ready for it. So that's my job now. Now I'll decide much closer to the time whether I'm going to send them. But that's, I'm still going to work on that premise that I'm going to send them. And if I don't send them, I'm at no loss. What I'm doing is about patience. So I'm, you know, coronavirus for me kind of worked out very well because now I have a team for the internationals next year, boards for Barcelona and Asia next year. That's what's got, that's what's going to happen next year. And then I have a good, strong yearling team, half of which it will be pushed to Cousins or Le Mans or something like that. 
and then I'll bring my young boy team that won't do anything at all next year. That's the plan. Um, I'm still going to go on with it. I, I, my plans originally were every year only a third to a half of the boards that are out that year get pushed on. So then by year four, you end up having four-year-olds, three-year-olds, two-year-olds and yearlings in the loft. And that gives you a good estimate to see, and okay, we, to see how they work out. And yes, there is that issue of some of them that have never raced. Well, yeah, they probably won't have raced some of my four-year-olds if I do that. Like, but that's my decision. They will be well trained out to 200 miles privately. So they will be doing work privately on their own. They will have been across the water on their own, those boats. It's not that I won't be getting them anywhere and doing that with them. They will have to prove that they can stay there and keep their perch. They're not just going to be left there. Um, so I'm quite happy with the way these young boats have come on through the moat. Most of them have cleaned up in the body moat. The youngest of them, incidentally, we talk about the boards that were lost there, that first toss at 50 miles. So the oldest of them was actually hatched in mid-January, and the youngest of them was hatched, I think, at the start of February. Um, I do have a look down. So there was a four, a four or five weeks, or sorry, at the, end of Mar at the end of February. So it was four or five weeks between them. And the oldest one that was sent, which is the next minute, that one I just showed you, is gone. The cock. And yet, the youngest board in the loft, in that section, in that group, five weeks younger than the oldest, is there. So 50 miles shouldn't be a big ask. And he was there on the first day. So these boards have been flying an hour to an hour and a half a night. There should be no reason they can't do 50 miles with another batch of pigeons. And I picked a good day for it. Now, in saying that, after having a conversation with a couple of the other lads that were training, they did say, that, that it was a bad day, even their old board were coming all day. But I'm going to persevere with this, I'm going to keep these boards going and I'll just see how they end up and, and what happens long term in the end, you know. Um, other than that, there's not much going on. I'm preparing these boards, as I said, for cucumbers. Whether they go or not is a different matter, I don't know. I'll decide that close to the time if I think that they're able for it, if the moat is okay. There's a lot of factors involved, but I am training for it anyway. And we're still breeding with Musgrove Wizard there and the seven hands. Um, I'm just taking my time. I'm only giving them three hens at a time or four hens at a time. Uh, so every week, I'm every tenth, every two weeks, I'm three weeks because I'm giving the, every three weeks because I'm giving the hens a week break as well. So they lay a pair of eggs. They're taken away. They have a three week break before they go again. Um, and I'll only have to do that twice and I have the 20 hens I want. Um, I have a couple of daughters there often. The last eggs were just laid yesterday. Two daughters. Uh, one laid hen laid a second egg yesterday. So have been missing his daughters for some reason. He's not seemed to be getting up on them. I don't know. Um, I just have to, that's why I decided I would do them slowly because I'm in a rush and breathing for myself at the moment. So that's pretty much where we are. We have, like I said, 16 youngsters of which uh, seven are training. Uh, the rest aren't. Uh, we have the hens here on the bull system. I'll just show you them. They're still there. These are all separated at the moment, as you can see. I'll separate it. That's the youngster, incidentally, down the bottom down there. That'll be going to the Barcelona One Loft race. Uh, he's gone with two others from a friend of mine. And Nick Harvey in Taunton is putting one board into it as well in, the, in my syndicate, which is good for us. Uh, a couple of the pilots, but this, the blue pilot certainly, and this blue hand, they're feeders. The rest of the principal hands, they're all taken away at the moment. Uh, what I've been doing is, when I'm running the bull system, is I take the hens out for an hour in the morning so they can stretch, move around, because those boxes are quite small. Stretch, move around, let them look after themselves, and then I give them to the cock for an hour each. So he gets her for an hour, hopefully saddles her, put her back in the box with her foster cock, and wait for it to lay. It's, it's that simple. So it's been working well, I have to say. It has been working very well. I'm very pleased with the youngsters I sent out in the last video, or the, that I said. Uh, I'm very pleased with those youngsters that went out. I'm very pleased with the fall I bred. I have four more in the nest. Uh, and I, like I said, I think I have another six eggs or seven eggs to hatch in the next week or two. Uh, so I'm, I'm very happy with what's going on. And I'm just going to persevere for another, another couple of months with this. Get a nice team around me. Really build a close family. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Today is Talbany with the Irish South World Fed. It was moved to Pembroke because of COVID issues. Good luck lads racing at the Talbany race. Good luck lads racing up the land. I think it's uh, Kilmore Beach or Mallow. Uh, have a good race day lads because it is a good day today.